Hi, now in this example we're given that in a village power cuts occur randomly at a rate of 3 per year and use a suitable approximation to find the probability that in the next 10 years the number of power cuts will be less than 20. So if this is a question that you'd like to try I'll give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, the first thing I'd want to do is to describe the random variable, say x, as being, let x be the random variable, we'll put rv for short, and it's going to represent the number of power cuts, okay? Number of power cuts, and we'll say per 10 years, because that's what we're looking at. And what kind of distribution would this follow? Well, we've got a discrete random variable, and these power cuts are occurring at a constant rate in an interval of time, 10 years. So this would follow a Poisson distribution. So we'll say where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution, and the Poisson distribution has just one parameter, the mean. And that mean would be 3 per year over 10 years is going to be 3 times 10, 30 power cuts is what we can expect. All right. Now we've got to work out the probability that the number of power cuts will be less than 20. So we're looking for the probability that the number of power cuts, that's our random variable x, is less than 20. But it says using a suitable approximation. Well, you should be familiar with the approximation. I'll just give you a quick recap. And that is that if x follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda, and lambda is greater than or equal to 20, then the random variable x follows a normal distribution approximately with a mean of lambda and a variance of lambda. And I can see then that from this, I can see that since that mean lambda is greater than 20, it's 30 in this case, then x is distributed approximately as a normal distribution. I'll put the word approximately there because it isn't an exact normal distribution. And it's going to have a mean of lambda, which is 30, and a variance lambda, which is 30. So when it comes to working out the probability x is less than 20, what we've got to do is we've got to be very careful here because something else that gets forgotten is something called a continuity correction. I'll just go over this, although I've got tutorials on this on my website in a lot more detail than what I'm doing now. But I would sketch out my normal distribution, something like this, okay? And it's meant to be symmetrical, it's not quite there, but uh, just hopefully this gives you an idea. But we're looking for less than 20. Now if we took the value 20, let's say it's here. Because this is a discrete random variable that we're dealing with, so you can only get exact values like the 20 here. Next one would be 21, 22 and so on. And this is the mean of 30, by the way. Then what we do is we fill these gaps in with bars, if you like, of unit width. So this value down here is going to be 19.5, whilst this one up here is 20.5. Now we want the probability of being less than 20. So in other words, we're looking for an area to be less than 20. But because it's less than 20, we don't go into the bar. We go just up to this edge here. And that is at the point where you've got a value here an observed value x equal to 19.5. So that's applying what we call our continuity correction. It will differ with various questions. So if you're unsure of this, do check it out on my website, examsolutions.net. So using the continuity correction, we can say that this is approximately the same as working out the probability that x is less than 19.5. And we would normally go on to standardize this, that is try and work out what the z value is for 
the corresponding observed value 19.5. So if we have our standardized distribution, say something like this, again not very symmetrical there, and we drop our value down here, we're looking for this observed z value that corresponds to 19.5. And we should be familiar with the fact that this is going to be the same as working out the probability that z is less than the observed value, 19.5, minus the mean, which is 30, all divided by the standard deviation. This is the variance, 30, so the standard deviation is the square root of 30. Now, if we work this out, we establish that the z value that we've got to be less than, okay, is minus 1.9170. So expecting a negative number because it is to the left of the mean here, which is 0. Now our tables generally don't work out probabilities to the left here of a z value which is below zero. So what we have to do, as I've said in tutorials on the normal distribution in the past, we look at this as mirroring this over to the other side, z in other words being 1.9170, and then working out the whole area which is 1 minus the probability that z is less than the positive value of 1.9170. Okay? Look up in your tables that value and you should find you get 0.9726. And if we subtract that away from 1, you'll end up with 0.0274. And there's our probability. Okay?